seeing that for real numbers A and B, we have A, A, B, negative B times X, Y, which is same as R cosine theta, R cos cosine theta, R sine theta, and R sine theta, negative, times X and Y. Should be, yeah, it should be R there. Correspond to a clockwise rotation through theta and dilations factor of square root of a squared plus b squared, which is r. Okay, that just summarized what we just did. So now find the value of a and b so that has an effect of dilation with scale factor of 2 and no rotation. So scale factor of 2 was what? How did it look? It looked like R, R, 0, 0, right? And the scale factor is 2. So how would it look like? 2, 0, 0, 2. Let's see if it's true. Let's multiply by X and Y. Then what does it become? So you multiply first row with first column, sandwich it right here, x and y. So you get 2x plus y times 0, which is 2x. Now second row, x times 0, y times 2 is 2y. And just look at this. What do you think? Is x and y scale factor by 2? Yes. So you have to remember this. R, 0, 0, R, if it's just dilation of that scale factor. Okay? They're going to ask you to write this 2 by 2 matrix for the transformation. But always do this to double check your answer. What about 2? Find the value of A and B in this matrix. Has the effect of rotation about the origin. It should be always about the origin. 90 clockwise and no dilation. So if there is no dilation, there's R is equal to 1. And how did this look like? It was what? Cosine theta, which is 90. Cosine 90. Sine 90. Negative sine 90. Right? So what is cosine 90? So unit circle here is 90, cosine is x, so that is 0, negative sine 90, negative 1, 1, 0. Let's see if this is true. x times y. So when you multiply by x and y here, you get x times 0 plus negative times y, negative y x times y times 1 times 0 is x. It's negative y comma x in the coordinate plane. It's a rotation of counterclockwise. Remember we did that. From here to here, remember, x and y switch, and your new x became negative. Remember that? Is that the same thing? You see how we got that? In geometry, three. Find the value of a and b again, and now it is no dilation and 45 degree rotation counterclockwise. So what do we do again? Same thing. Cosine of 45, cosine of 45, sine of 45, but that becomes negative. And this becomes, again, sine of 45. So where is 45 on the unit circle here? They're both root 2 over 2. So this becomes root 2 over 2, negative root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. And you multiply by x and y. But that doesn't really simplify. So here's your answer.
The figure below is 0010303. Zero, 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 three, zero, three. And transform each first text under 31 negative 1, 3. And plot it. Plot the transform vertices on the figure. So what should we do? You make these. Since you're multiplying by x and y, you just make these column matrices. So like for a, you mult for transform a now, you multiply by 3, 1, negative 1, 3 with what? What is x and y of a? 0, 0. Oh, that's easy. That becomes all 0, right? 0 times 3 plus 0 times 3 plus 1 is 0. 0 times negative 1 plus 0 times 3 is 0. What about b prime? 3, negative 1, 1, 3. What was B? 1, 0. So then that becomes what? When you multiply these, I get 3 and negative 1. You just take the x's, right? Because y's are 0. These become 0. So here, my A prime was still there where A was at the origin. 3. Negative 1. That's B prime. What about C? I'll write it here. C prime is now 3, negative 1, 1, 3 times what? 3, 3. So when you multiply these two, sandwich it, so you get 9 plus 3. 12. Here you get 3 times negative 1, negative 3, plus 3 times 3 is 6. Negative 3 plus 9 is 6. So your C prime is at 12, 6. What about the last one, D prime? is again 3, negative 1, 1, 3, and 0 times 3, which is 0 times 3 is 0, 3 times 1 is 3, 0 times negative 1 is 0, and you get 9. So it's at now 3, comma 9. So guys, before we look at the image, just by looking at what got transformed, what is A here? A is 3 plus or minus. What is B? Negative 1. This is B. This is negative B, right? So it is. The transformation was 3 minus 1i. So square root of 3 square plus 1 square will be the r, the scale factor, right? And now it's at 3 and negative 1. So this is 3, negative 1. So this is how much you it rotated. Clockwise, it's on the fourth quadrant. You can say clockwise, or we can still say counterclockwise this much, 300 some. Okay? Isn't that what we are seeing? Got stretched by about two. No. It's square root of, what is r? Let's find r. r equals to square root of three square plus one square, which is square root of 10. What's square root of 10? Square root of 10. And I can do 1 squared because negative 1 squared is still positive. So 3.162. So it got scale factor dilated by scale factor of 
as you can see, got multiplied by about three times. And rotation will be what? Our tangent of, let's just do one over three, and that's gonna give you this theta, which you can say clockwise, or you can do 360 minus that to say counterclockwise. But what is it asking? It doesn't rotate, it just says rotation, so you can say either way. So what is our tangent of one third? No. Was it one third? Yeah, one third. It's 18.435 degrees clockwise. So does L represent the rotation and dilation? Yes. So just by looking at it, it's about three and about what? Less than 45, about 20 degrees. And when we do it, it actually becomes 3.162 scale factor dilation and 18.435 clockwise. If they ask for counterclockwise, you will say what? You will do minus 360. So it will be, the difference will be 341, 565 degrees counterclockwise.